Okay, the um, 10 point S415 crossbow. I thought I'd make a video on some items you might want to consider and what arrows you can actually use. Now, it comes with these particular arrows. And uh, these arrows are referred to as, God, I hate getting old. I refer to a Pro Elite 400, and they are 400 grains, and they have a 0, 0, 3 straightness. But there's better ones out there. Cost more money. So there's one. The other one you can get is one called Match 400, and another one called Evo X Center Pouch 20 inch. It has to be 20 inches. Now, I'll put this, these names in the bottom of the description so you don't mess up. Now, this came today, and it comes in this box. It sells Alpha Knock HP, 20 inches, 445 grains, where these are 400 grains. So notice, these are a bit, a bit heavier. And they also have a 0, 0, 1 in the way of straightness. So, these are straighter and heavier. Now, heavier is better because it prevents the bolt from jumping out. So, it prevents you from accidentally having a, a dry fire. So, I picked up this. This thing's awesome. I could probably get it, you know, it really doesn't make noise. I could probably get it a little bit better. Now, the nice thing about this is... I don't like the um, the quiver it comes with, and I don't want to have a quiver on my crossbow. So this is a crossbow case. It holds a dozen crossbow bolts up to 22 inches, which we're not going any more than 20. Um, notch foam, rugged plastic, pin-free hinge. Um, it's a plastic hinge. I wouldn't say it's going to last you forever, but it'll do, and you can stack them. And it is made in USA. So that's a plus, right? So there's a, that opens there. We open that up. Okay. Now, this particular box here is called a Titan, and I picked this up. So it would basically hold my broadheads. So it does have, okay, it does have some styrofoam inside, and you can put up to, well, six of them. I don't know if you can get them on the other side yet. I haven't bought more to find out. My other three, and it works well, my other three broadheads are missing. It says on Amazon, we have lost your broadheads. Please wait the next three days before re asking for a refund and reorder. And apparently they're stuck in Florida somewhere. So we wonder why, right? So now I'm going to take these out it comes with these foam things let me turn it around now how this arrow looks and these are expensive these are a heavy arrow and they are zero zero one which means they are even straighter than those other ones that came with your bow the knock is more recessed in I don't know if I can show you that I'm going to try. Well, I don't know. They look almost the same to me. So I don't know. You know, I don't know if you can see that, but they look almost the same to me. So the green arrows are 003, 400 grain. These are 001, 445 grain. So they are heavier. So why the case? Well, I want something to go on my backpack. I want something to stay away from what's going on. 
and I want to carry um, certain things. So, for example, I want to take some of these uh, judo tips in case I see small game. This one's almost the same, but it's got a point. Probably punch a hole right through the rabbit. And this here is for putting on your broadheads. But that's what you're looking at. So if I take these and screw them on. So there I go. I got one small game right off the bat. You see that? Give me another one. And like I said, this thing will hold 12 arrows. So that's kind of nice. Now, I don't want to hold. Um, I don't want to put the broadheads on until I need them. That's why I bought a separate case for the actual broadheads. So, will I use that three arrow quiver? I don't know. Maybe if I'm walking, I might. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to see. So, literally, I can put these in here. Okay. And you want to kind of set these up where your arrows are kind of, you know, centered out. Not bad. So, there we go. That's what's, that's what's pretty good, you know. And I'm going to do this the other way. And I don't want it on the feathers, so maybe I'll go this way. There we go. So I got my two small game tips on the far left. Now, the other way, I just slide it inside these holes. Down it goes all the way. Same way, I don't have any broadheads on it, you'll notice. And voila. Now, ideally, well, this one goes this way. Ideally, my broadheads. Okay, I'm going to go in the middle, and they give them a push so they come up a little bit. So I don't think it'll hold 12 if I've got my broadheads in the middle. Now if I want to hold, you know, don't use the broadheads in the middle. So this, the thing that tightens the broadheads is going to go in there, and that's about all that's going in there. So now my case has, it's going to have six broadheads when they come in, and it has a couple judo type uh, tips for taking down small game, it has the tool for tightening the uh, broadheads, and then basically this seals up, foam will stick out a little bit, and boom, we've got everything all together. Now that's the thing that tightens up the broadheads. I don't think I want that rattling all over the place. So how am I going to do that? Can I put it here? That might prevent it. You got to push the foam pieces in a little bit. Try it now. Yeah, it's still got some noise to it. I can't get away from that, huh? I'm going to need to attach that to something else. Because when it's in here, it's going to rattle. I guess I'm going to have to put that in a Ziploc with some other little doodads I have for my arrows. So let's put that down. Now rattle. 
almost nothing. Much better. So these stack. This seems to be pretty good. I could even add these three extra arrows, and for now I will. So let's open this back up. And uh, we'll know the difference because they've got different colors. The ones that are 1 one hundredths are yellow feathers. The one that is 1 three hundredths is green feathers, right? So, okay. So there we go. Push it down. So I've got six, seven, eight, nine arrows in there. It's supposed to hold 12. Notice very little noise. This thing has to go inside my other thing. So now basically I can slide this inside my backpack and have my arrows. Now I'm going to have to decide what type of arrow I want to have. Now I could slide you know, one arrow with a judo tip into my back pocket or side pocket and then I could have a broadhead inside the actual bow. So if I do come across a rabbit, a squirrel, whatever, I can switch out the arrows. And the reason I want a judo tip is I don't even know if that's what you call them, but they have those wires that come out, and if it catches, it starts toppling the arrow. So this way you don't lose the arrow when you're shooting at, say, a squirrel. You don't want to shoot at a squirrel up in the tree, because if you miss, you launch in that arrow straight up in the air, and you don't know where it's coming down. And if you don't know where your arrow's coming down, you should not squeeze that trigger, period. But if the squirrel's up against a tree, or he's on the ground, and you take your shot, well, now your arrow's going to topple through the air, basically, right? Is what's going to happen so this thing's pretty cool that came in and it keeps my arrows in good shape and again I'll run through this um, the three arrows you should shoot in this crossbow is a match 400 which I believe is what came with it a pro Elite, or maybe it was the pro elite 400 that came with it or a pro X center pounce 20 inch they do make a evil X center pounce 20 inch with lighted knocks, but you only get three. And uh, they're the same price. The ones I got here, which is a heavier arrow, which we're going to shoot and uh, check the speed, um, they're $109. So I, $109 for six of the 001, a very straight arrow. It has more weight to it. And if I want the one with the lighted knocks, which I'll probably get in time, you're going to pay 109 for three, and you decide which ones you want to use. So I guess if it's getting closer to dusk, you might want to use the arrows that have the lighted knocks so you can see them travel better. But during the middle afternoon, you probably don't want to use them. But again, that's up to you. Now, there's something to consider about arrows. And nobody's done this yet. And I'm sure it's coming in the next two to three years. You see, crossbows are getting faster and faster and faster, right? Well, it's getting to the point now when you shoot a bolt, it'll go straight in the side of the deer and come out the other side. And they're running a certain size broadhead, usually inch and three-eighths or whatever. Um, then you use the mechanicals that open where it cuts a little bit more. But can you imagine if they start running a much bigger broadhead you know, and they get away from the norms and they sit back and say, all right, we're going to run a two-inch broadhead is what we're going to do. It's going to cut two inches. Now, a lot has to go into that arrow and figuring it out, but they've got the speed. But we want the speed and we want the impact, right? So let's say it's going like crazy, bad out of hell. The way it is now, it goes in, comes out the other side. You lose your arrow. How about... It goes like a bat out of hell, and when it connects, it cuts the hole twice as big, and maybe does come out the other side, or maybe only goes halfway. Something that these crossbow companies could play with, because we got the speed, we could have more impact when it hits, especially if we're sitting at around 50 yards and we're not trying to shoot so far. So that is something to consider. I would imagine that's going to come down the road. This is going to be the next upgrade for crossbows is what I see what's coming. 
So I have a link to this in Amazon. It's affiliate. I have a link to this if you want to tighten your broadheads. Um, I have a link to the three type of arrows you can run in this crossbow that I'm running. For the guys that have bought one, they might want to take a look. It makes it a whole lot easier when you just click and say, yep, that, that one works in my crossbow. It really does. And they are Amazon links, so they do come in a couple days, and they do come pretty quick. So um, there you have it. And I'm waiting for stuff that's locked because of the hurricane. Man, oh, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Oh, by the way, I think my scope comes in Tuesday. Woohoo!